And what up everybody and welcome to Baz on Blades. My name is Baz and I talk about blades, but I don't talk about blades all the time. Sometimes we talk about firearms here at Baz on Blades. And just like with my blades, the past couple of years, I've really been in on the sort of budget end of firearms. And I have bought a few Taurus firearms. Now, Taurus, as a firearms company, is moderately respected. They've had some issues in the past with their semi-auto pistols just not running, a couple of safety issues. Uh, the revolvers are pretty decent. I've always had good luck. And most people seem to think about Taurus that since they came out with the G2C, the evolution of the PT-111 Millennium, uh, that their semi-autos have been really good since that point. There's not been a lot of issues. Now you see before you, I have received today a safety recall notice on the GX4 subcompact 9mm double stack. Now, I am a huge proponent of the GX4. Uh, I have sung the praises of this little pistol. I really, really like it. And that's not changing because I know with firearms as well as many other things that are complex systems that are manufactured at bulk rate, um, there can be issues. Many, many manufacturers have issues. Even your favorite 100% perfect super glockitude gun has had issues over the years. We got to take these issues seriously. These are firearms we're talking about. This isn't the new Corvette where they have a transmission issue or something. This is a serious safety type of issue. What we've got here is there is an issue with a specific run of GX4 pistols. It does not apply to all of them. There is an issue with the pistol, maybe, potentially, chance of firing if it is dropped. That's actually a fairly common issue with a lot of semi-auto guns. I can think of many top tier manufacturers that have had to do, eh, we're going to have to pull these back and we're going to have to work on this a little bit. And there are actually systems that are widely accepted now within firearms uh, that are there to keep pistols from going off. So I don't know. There's no, they don't say why, what the issue is. Uh, they just tell you what the issue is. And then on this, they tell you, you basically, you're going to go down here, you're going to click right here, and you're going to enter your serial number of your pistol. Uh, that's all you have to do. You don't have to register. You don't have to give them your name. You don't have to give them your blood type. You don't have to give them the name of your firstborn child. You don't have to give them whether your wife still shaves her hoo-hoo or I don't know. You don't have to give them any of your personal information. You just got to put in your serial number. You hit one button and you will get a reply. Here you can see my reply. My Taurus GX4 is not covered by the safety notice, meaning my particular model is not included in the potential faulty serial, whatever that range is of production. Thank God, because I really like this pistol. I don't want to have to send it in and have it worked on and it come back and it be just totally different to shoot. Screw that. I did not want that. And I hate... I hate to see this with a Taurus firearm. Um, I have done quite a bit of Taurus content on my channel, and it gets great views. I mean, way, way yonder more views than any knife video. There is no knife video that gets uh, views like firearms. I mean, I've got Taurus videos that have a third of a million views on them. A third of a million views. I typically get like 200 views on a knife video. If it's super hot, I might get like 1,000 or 1,500 over a longer time frame. But um, I have 
I've really been a proponent of Taurus. Ever since I got my G2C, uh, I've gone through, uh, gone through uh, this sort of evolution with my G2C. You guys know I put the uh, Ameriglow tritium night sights on that. Um, then I put a keep tinkering single action only trigger in it, and I love that little compact sort of combat size of pistol. I've got a G3, the full size, and it's not perfect for my hand, but it has been 100% as far as reliability goes. And then I got the GX4, and again, my GX4 is, it's got a thousand rounds through it now. Um, I, th I think I'm like 50 rounds shy. I'm 50 rounds shy because I wanted to hold off on the 50 and do video with the last 50. But, uh, it's, it's been perfect. It's not giving me any issues at all. So I've been, I've been, you know, I've been selling this, selling this. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm saying I'm selling it. I'm just sort of promoting it for my, you know, for me, I'm getting, I'm having good results with this. I don't get anything from Taurus. I've never even spoken to those people. I'm just on their mailing list. Um, I don't get anything from Taurus to pimp Taurus, and I know there's other great firearms around the same price point. Um, but Taurus has really been, they've really been fighting this sort of bad reputation that they developed years ago. And that's the way re reputation is on the internet. It takes you five seconds to ruin your reputation it can, it, it, maybe you never get it back. Maybe it takes you 10 years of struggling and proving yourself to get your reputation back. Uh, it's been a struggle for Taurus. And I like to see these companies that genuinely want to give a good product. They obviously genuinely want to provide a good product. We see they've become super aggressive with increases in um, the quality of their firearms, uh, new uh, models, new designs, uh, new features for them, always pushing. And I really like that in this company. And like I say, my Taurus firearms have been perfect so far. I've not had any issues at all with any of them. I hate to see this. That warrior poet just put up a new video. Um, let's see. So I hate to see this about Taurus, and we're going to keep this sort of short right now. Uh, you guys be looking for this. If you bought your GX4 secondhand, you're not going to get an email notification because you didn't register the firearm originally. You can go directly to the Taurus Firearms website, I will put a link, a direct link, to this page uh, down in the pinned comment in the comment section. If you've got a GX4, you can go on, check this out, make sure they're going to pay. If your, your firearm does fall within that range, unload that thing, do not carry it. Um, you can drop anything at any time. We're all stupid, clumsy monkeys. Um, they're going to pay for you to ship it in. They're going to repair it. They're going to ship it back to you for free. Uh, Taurus is very aggressively covering this as far as I know. And you know what? I never heard of this issue. There was a couple of guys when the GX4 first came out that posted like five or six videos each saying that their pistol, uh, when you pulled the trigger, it didn't go off. And then it'd go off 10 seconds later. And I think one of the guys actually posted a video showing why it was happening or how it was happening. And he was gripping the pistol so hard, he was flexing the frame and trapping the trigger bar, I believe, between the internal uh, module on these pistols, the way they're built, and the actual polymer frame. I think that's what that guy was doing because I don't know, man. I've never seen or heard of anybody gripping a pistol as hard as he showed in that video. Uh, God, fuck, I, you know, I'm all sold on polymer now. That guy was uh, putting the name to gorilla gripping that thing. Um, but I've never heard of anything as far as drop um, uh, the firearms firing when they're dropped upon impact. Um, I'm thinking that's an inertia firing. It might be, 
I don't know. I've had my pistol apart and taken a look at the module. I mean, it's hard to say where it's at. You know, you've got a drop safety in the trigger, you know, a la Glock type blade safety. Uh, you've got a striker retainer safety, just like nearly 100%, if not 100% of striker fire modern pistols have. I'm not sure exactly what is causing them to go off. Hopefully we'll find out. Just out of curiosity, I'd like to know. Uh, if a company really wants to be up you know, and honest, they can not only say, hey, we're going to do a recall, send it in, we'll fix it and send it back, but they can tell you what the issue was. Uh, I don't want it to be secret. I want them to be um, transparent. Uh, more transparent than politicians, for sure. So there you go. I'm going to go ahead and get this up. If, uh, if you've got a GX4, follow the link. If you get the email, follow the link. Check and take care of this because safety issues with firearms are actual real safety issues, okay? They can actually be real safety issues. Uh, you drop your firearm and it, it, it goes off and there's somebody in the pull the path of that projectile and they're going to be shot. That's a safety issue. So be sure and check it out. And if, if you're, you know, you're good to go, then you're good to go. Like I say, I've had no issues out of my GX4 at all. Um, just, you know, whatever your individual um, experience is. Just go with that. There you go. As always, thank you very much for taking the time to watch one of my videos. God bless all of you. And we will talk to you again.